All right, today I got a very busted Titan build for you, and it is just absurd, the ad clear. It's honestly some of the best ad clear in the entire game. I really don't know how you beat this. Also, your survivability is going to be through the roof as well. And while we will be taking advantage of artifact mods this season, this build will be totally viable and usable in further seasons. So we're just gonna break down the key components of this build and how you guys are actually gonna go about making it. But I am live on Twitch at the time of posting this video. So if you guys wanna come hang out, ask me any sort of questions, make sure you click on that link in the description down below. So let's go ahead and start off with the key pieces of gear. So first off, you're gonna want a very fast firing void weapon. So in my case, the funnel web is going to be your best bet. It's not going to obviously take up an exotic slot and you can get frenzy subsistence on this thing which is going to be your god roll and otherwise the faster firing weapons that you can have the more explosions and more detonations you can get off because we're going to be using volatile rounds so if you guys look at the artifact mod volatile flow whenever you guys pick up a void elemental well it's going to grant your void weapons volatile rounds and this is going to pair very nicely with our heart of inmost light so we can spam our grenades and melees and get void wells pretty much non-stop now you can do that general setup on pretty much any character but what makes the titan so special with this is the aspect control demolition so hitting a target with a void ability or volatile so volatile rounds is going to count for this when you damage the volatile target it's going to cause them to explode and then also going to grant you and nearby allies health when the volatile targets explode so it's actually kind of better than devour you don't even need to get a kill you can just stand there tanking shots as long as you're shooting somebody with volatile rounds you're going to keep getting healed when those explosions actually occur and you're also going to be healing your teammates in the process so this is also partly a support build so those are the main components of the build let's go ahead and go over our other abilities so the super you can use whatever you want i just like to use ward of dawn because it's going to work well with our offensive bulwark over here in our aspects and also you can just spam it and it's very nice to have defensively and then otherwise you guys can use whatever barricade you want i just like to use rally barricade because it has a short cooldown uh use the shield throw and then also i like the vortex grenade because it is really good for keeping debuffs on targets and also pulling enemies in also with one of our fragments we can actually get two sets of void elemental wells to spawn as long as enemies keep running into this at the very tail end the cooldown will be up and you will get another set of your void wells to spawn and then since we have four fragment slots let's go ahead and look at those super quick we're gonna be using echo of expulsion so our void ability kills cause them to explode we can keep the explosions chaining and then otherwise echo of remnants so our vortex grenade lasts longer we're using echo of exchange so our shield throw kills give us grenade energy so we can keep throwing the grenades and then finally echo of undermining since we're gonna be throwing grenades all the time might as well be weakening our targets now when i was saying that you can use this build after this season obviously the volatile rounds artifact mod will be gone but we'll be able to equip the echo of instability after the raid drops here next week and this can allow us to continue using this build even in the future so go ahead and get rid of a fragment of your choice for this echo of instability now let's go ahead and run through our mods on my helmet it. I do like to keep it solar so I can keep ashes to assets on it and we can spam our ward of dawn more now obviously this season if you guys want a little bit more survivability change this to void and then run the well of tenacity here and that's gonna help you guys survive a lot better but it's completely up to you with the health regen I really don't need it I'd rather just be spamming my abilities more and then I like to run melee well maker because we're gonna be throwing our shield all the time also it's a one point artifact mod this season and then otherwise a grenade kickstart so we can help keep our ability spam going Otherwise, on the chest piece, I like to run a grenade launcher reserve when I'm using the parasite, otherwise any reserve of your choice. Also, I like to run the double resistance mod that's here in the artifact. And then we also are gonna be fitting Fonta Might on here because obviously we're constantly gonna be picking up void elemental wells and we're using a void weapon. So it'd be really dumb not to be using this, it's just free damage. And then on my boots, I'm running elemental ordnance, so our grenade is gonna be spawning void wells for us. And then otherwise I can fit a grenade launcher scavenger with the parasite and also innervation in case there's any orbs on the ground to help our cooldowns we just kind of had an extra point there and that's what i happen to be able to fit and then with a masterworked artifice armor class mod you guys can actually get really creative with this with our current artifact mods so i'm able to fit overload grenades because overload smg really isn't super reliable so i'll keep that on there for overloads otherwise like i said volatile flow that's going to be the main component of this and then we can also fit a three-point stat mod 
and a double bomber so we can get our grenade cooldowns much quicker when we're casting our barricade and with heart of inmost light you're going to be using your grenade melee and barricade constantly and these are just going to help you guys loop those now going back to the weapons in the kinetic and the heavy slot you can run whatever combo you guys want whatever you need if you need like arbalist for anti-barrier you can obviously put that up here and put like a void rocket or a void linear it's completely up to you what you run in those two slots otherwise this build is super easy to play just make sure you always have a melee or a grenade ready to go in case you need to kill an enemy with it and grab its void well so you can keep your volatile rounds active it has a 17 second timer so that is a very long time it's not tough to keep that active at pretty much all times as long as there's enemies around but hopefully you guys enjoy nuking the entire map and also not dying in the process really the only way you're dying is if you're getting just straight up like one to two shot but that's going to wrap it up for this build video if you guys did enjoy this video and found it helpful make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel we have a ton more witch queen content on the way here very shortly but hopefully i'll see you guys over on twitch but anyways i hope you all have a fantastic day and i'll catch you all in the next video see ya